Welcome to Total Praise, where we celebrate Catholics of African ancestry and evangelize men and women, young and old, in our Diocese of Rockville Center and beyond. Each week, we bring you, our viewers, informative interviews and interesting highlights, along with lively and prayerful songs. Today, we are continuing our talk with Father Patrick Devine, the Chairman and Religious Superior for the Conference of Kenya. Father Patrick is a Society of African Missions priest who is working on establishing the Shalom Center for Conflict Resolution and Reconciliation for the Elimi Triangle Area in Kenya. For our viewers who might not have seen our earlier interview, can you please explain what the Shalom Center for Conflict Resolution and Reconciliation is? Well, the Shalom Center for Conflict Resolution and Reconciliation has been set up to complement the work of the Church in Africa of evangelization and development. Yes. And we're aiming at resolution as opposed to settlement, to help to bring communities together where the root causes of their conflict are addressed, and that we work towards peace and justice and mutual harmony, which is the essence of the yes. word Shalom. Yes. And reconciliation is to be seen in terms of bringing people to experience the presence of Christ mm -hmm. in the vertical mm -hmm. and in the horizontal in the relationships with each other. Beautiful. Tell us about your daily challenges, Father. Well, the daily challenges as a missionary um, are to try, first of all, mm -hmm. to proclaim the message of Jesus Christ in all its libera liberating aspects. Yes. And um, we're in very remote areas where the gospel has not been planted and to go out into the villages and to proclaim the word and people come and the, me the yes. message should stand or fall on its own merit and of course we know the salvific word of Jesus yes. Christ yes. and more and more every year people are attracted to it. Father Patrick, in this year of the priest, tell us about your call to the priesthood. Well, my call to the priesthood began 30 years ago when I entered the seminary in 1979 in Ireland and um, I suppose my vocation began before that yeah. in the formative years with my family and community back in Ireland. But I always had a longing to go to a third world country where there was a spiritual need and a need for development in terms yes. of education and medicine and so on. And um, I went to the seminary mm -hmm. and I had my questions, I had my doubts and it's yes. a big challenge, giving up marriage and relationships with yes. women and so on and all that as a young man. And, uh, but I prayed to the Lord and I had a wonderful experiential uh, experience of his presence alive in me. And uh, that helped me an to anointing. know the Lord. An anointing on your life. So beautiful. Why did you choose Africa and how long have you been serving there? Well, I was ordained in 1988 and uh, my superiors back then asked me would I go to Tanzania where mm -hmm. they were starting a new mission. Yes. So I arrived there in November 1988 and we started in a very remote area mm -hmm. of western Tanzania where there were about 10% of the population Catholic, maybe another 10 of the Protestant denominations, but 80% of the people had never heard the good news. And um, mm -hmm. we went out there and began in all the villages. And the first year, 13 people came for baptism. But after four years there, and by activating yes. the Catholic community, the uh, catechumen went up to between four and 600 every year. That's fantastic. And I would like to add, like, one of the greatest approaches to mission in Africa is to help the African people to be missionaries to themselves. Oh, amen. I'm loving that. Now, how does the Pope's recent visit to Africa help? Well, the church, the unity of the church is very important in terms of maintaining the, the coherency of the message of Christ. Yes. And that is very, very important so that it doesn't get watered down. And of course, the Pope gives a lot of spiritual guidance, both morally and spiritually. Yes. And it connects all of us to a center point. And the need for that is very, very important and that mm -hmm. we feel part of it. And just completed in the Vatican is the African Synod, the Synod for Africa. Yes. And uh, at that Synod, they look at all the issues confronting the work of evangelization mm -hmm. and development. Um, we contributed a paper 
to that Senate yes. on the issue of conflict uh, resolution and reconciliation as it complements the work of evangelization and uh, development in the sense that it is an inherent part of evangelization. And just last week the propositions came out that yes. were forwarded to the Holy Father um, to be sanctioned and uh, Proposition 21 addressed this whole issue and the need for more training in our seminaries and universities That's on wonderful. the issue of conflict resolution and reconciliation. We could use some of that here, that's for sure. Now, there are a lot of young men out there who need your advice. What is the best advice that you would give to a young man who might be considering the priesthood right now? Well, my first advice to him would be to be sensitive to what he's hearing in his own spirit and then to ask the Lord who is dying for him to experience his presence, yeah. to ask him to give him the courage and the willpower to follow it through. Mm -hmm. um, after 21 years of priesthood, I can look back and I would say to the Lord, you can give me the same deal again. You can deal me the same deck. Yes. In the sense that it, it has not been without its ups and downs. We all go through the difficulties of life. I have been nearly killed, bullets yes. over me, robbed. You go through your own questioning. But it's only out of the questioning that you can really experience what Christ is telling you mm -hmm. and then live him out to the full. Thank you so much for that, Father, because we really do need young men to join the priesthood here. How has your faith helped you? Well, I would not be able to do what I'm doing without the faith that I have and that I've been blessed with by Jesus Christ because that is the beginning and the end and the, I would say, the source of all my work in Africa. Yes. Um, otherwise, why would you be out in very remote and difficult areas? Oh, yes. And why would you be interested in other people to that extent? Yes. And we must remember they are God's people. And Amen. that God asked us to go to the ends of the, of earth. the earth. And I believe myself, the Lord will not be happy yes. until you and I, Darcel, and all the people who are watching reach the ends of the earth with the good news of Jesus Christ. And peace is a core issue in proclaiming that news. Well, I must say, Father, you certainly have excited me. I'm ready to be a missionary myself <laughs> here. Thank you so very, very much for your words and your inspiration and the work that you're doing. Thank you for joining us today. Contact information about the Shalom Center for Conflict Resolution and Reconciliation will be displayed at the end of our show. Now please join us in song. Trust him. Somebody's not.